everyone, welcome back. My name is Robin, and today I'm going to be sharing my favorites for the month of May. It is already June 2nd, and my kids only have four more days left of school, two of which are half days. I'm a little bit in shock, and I cannot believe how fast May went by. Is anyone else feeling this way? I'm like, time is like going at warp speed lately. We are so busy. I just, I need to take a breather. But anyways, I thought this month I would do things a little bit differently. So typically I have been doing a monthly favorites video and then I've also been doing a monthly fun finds video, which shows uh, the items that I found while out thrifting throughout the month and then how I've used them in my house. But I thought this month maybe I'd combine the two and see how it goes. So you'll have to let me know if you like the new format or not. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on my favorite things for the month of May. So the first thing I've been loving for the month of May is my Too Faced Peach Palette. Oh my goodness, I love this thing so very much. I actually bought it back in March. And, Mark, no wait. I actually bought it, I can't remember when I bought this. Anyways, I had it for like a month before I even cracked into it because I was so busy I didn't have time to play around with it and I really wanted to be able to sit down and play with the colors before I like you know started using it. Well I started using it at the very first day of May I'm like this thing can no longer sit in my drawer I've got to use it so I got it out and I came up with like a combination for me that I really liked and I seriously have pretty much been using those colors all week. All month long I haven't really broke out of my mold at all from that first time that I tried it I just love these colors so much it smells so good and I really need to sit down and like watch some videos of people doing tutorials on this palette itself because I'm already stuck in a rut with it because there's like three colors that I absolutely love and I haven't really <laughs> used any other colors I'm terrible but I found like two combinations that I really love from this palette and that's what I've been doing all month long. It's been crazy. So this is the first eyeshadow palette that I have ever tried from Too Faced. I have used their powder foundation, their cocoa foundation and I absolutely love it. So now I'm like, I need to go get their other palettes because I'm obsessed with this one. I want to try their chocolate bar one and their semi-sweet one I think it is but yeah I'm totally obsessed with this if you have not tried this yet oh, it's so good I will say that a lot of the colors are sort of orangey to me they're orangey but for some reason it's working really well with my eye color I think and the tone that I have going on with my itty bitty little tan that I've got going on so I don't know how I will like this in the winter time I don't know but yeah, even like the browns have a little bit of an orangey tinge to them, I think. But I don't know. I'm not a color expert at all. But for some reason, it's working for me and I'm really loving it. So, that was my first one. That is the only makeup find of this month, which is quite sad, but that's alright. But I do have a few other things that I absolutely love. One of which is a salad mix. It is from Aldi and it is called the Southwest chopped salad mix. Can you see that there? This is so delicious. Oh my goodness. It has like, what does it have? It says green cabbage, romaine lettuce, red cabbage, carrots, and green onions. And it comes with a dressing and like these little tortilla chip thingies to put on it. And oh my goodness, this is so good. When I am really starving for lunch, I'll like eat this whole bag. Which is okay because it's not very many calories because it's mostly this lettuce. Um, but yeah, otherwise I will make this up for a side to go with whatever we're having for dinner. And we just, uh, it's so good. So, so good. So I've only tried the Southwest um, version. I know they have an Asian version. And then one other one, chopped salad at Aldi. But I've seen similar things like this. But I have seen similar items like this and other grocery stores but I don't know this is like less than three dollars at Aldi so yeah I've been getting these I buy like four of them every week and we always eat them up so they're very delicious 
Sometimes we use different dressing on it just to mix things up, but I don't know. All right, so the next thing that I have to share with you is a very naughty treat, but I am totally obsessed with them, and it is this right here. Caramel M&Ms. Oh my goodness, have you tried these? So, so delicious and so naughty because I can't stop eating these things. I can't, I bought a bag and they, and I shared with everyone in the family because I'm like, oh look, well let's try this, I, this is cool. And I was like, oh man, these are so good. So then the next day when I went to the store, I bought another bag and I didn't share it at all <laughs> because they were so delicious. But anyways, normally I like the peanut butter M&Ms. I think those are so delicious. And then at Christmas time, they have the mint M&Ms, which I think are pretty good too. But these, by far the best M&M ever. So if you're not tried these and you like chocolate and caramel, go get you some of these. You will not regret it, I promise. All right, so the next thing I have to share with you is a plant. I love pink geraniums and I found these ones right here they're like two-toned pink and I found them for my porch and I am absolutely in love with these they need to be deadheaded right now but yeah oh I absolutely love pink geraniums every year I buy three or four of them and they go onto my screened in porch oh and I just love them so much and they last all season long which I think is awesome and yeah so that is a great favorite for me for this month. All right, so the next favorite I have to share with you is something that my family and I did together, and that was to go camping. This last weekend was Memorial Day weekend, and we got our camper out of storage, got it all cleaned up, all stacked up, hit the road and brought it out to the woods, and we had a fantastic time. We were ATVing, sitting around the fire, eating s'mores. Oh, and it was just gorgeous, 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 and I am so excited to do more camping. We normally go camping, it seems like, every other weekend throughout the whole summer. We have two separate weeks in which we go for one week at a time camping trips, and the first one is coming up in a couple of weeks here. It's right after school gets out. Um, we go up to this place up in... Wisconsin and we just have a blast and we go four-wheeling and swimming and kayaking and oh I just love camping so so much that I am so excited so it was really good to get the camper out and get out into the woods so that was awesome all right so the last thing I have to share with you for my favorites for the month are two shows that I've been watching on Netflix the first one being is called Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries. Now there's three different seasons and I just discovered this. Um, I love it so much. It's set in like the 1920s I think in Australia and it's about this lady who's like independently wealthy and she like helps solve murders um, with a local detective and his little sidekick person. Uh, I just love the series so much. There, Like I said there are three seasons and they're pretty long seasons. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of watching <laughs> on Netflix of that show. So I think I've got like two episodes left of the last season before I'm all done. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be sad when it is over because it is so much fun. I love it so much. Um, the second thing I've been watching on Netflix, which I was very excited about when I first heard that it was coming out, and it is called Anne with an E. Ugh based on the Anne of Green Gables books that were, you know, so popular way back when. And I don't know if any of you remember this, but there used to be one, an Anne of Green Gables series that I used to watch when I was a kid. Oh, I loved it so much. It was like one of my favorite like shows and I can't even tell you how many times I watched it. So I was so excited for this new series to come out on Netflix and I think they did an excellent job on it. Uh, it kept it very true to, you know, what I remember from the old one that I used to watch when I was little, but also it had a new kind of twist to it, which was, it was very nice to see. So I am excited. I hope that it does well and that they will do more episodes because really, I can't remember how many episodes were, maybe like four or five, like one hour segments. So yeah, I am like wanting some more. <laughs> 
So anyways, if you have not watched either Anne with a Knee or Miss Fitcher's Murder Mysteries, I highly recommend both of them. Alright, so that brings me to the end of my May favorites. So now let's hop into my fun finds for the month of May. Alright, so the first fun find of the month is a plant stand. It was originally like a wrought iron black color, so I spray painted it and I decided to use it on my patio. So I'll show you a clip of that next. All right, so the next item I found was a watering can. It was $2.99 and I also used this on my patio. So the next thing I found was a lampshade. You can see that there. I love the detailing on it. And I thought it was really pretty. I picked it up for $4.99 and I used it in my dining room. <laughs> yeah, dining room. Alright, so the next th two things I found, I think are a couple weeks apart, but I decided to use them together on my porch. And the first item is this sheet. It's a flat sheet, a twin size, and it was like $2.99. I got a whole set, but I just used the flat sheet um, as like a throw blanket for on the porch. And I think it was really pretty. I'm in love with the pattern and it is so soft. I absolutely love that. The other item I used with the sheet is this throw pillow. It was $3.99 and I fell in love with the pattern on the pillow. I love the pinks and the pops of blue and then of course it's reversible and the cover comes off and I also love that it's got a scalloped edge on it all the way around. I just thought it was so pretty. So the next thing I found was this sphere. I found it for $4.99 and I love that it's a little bit rusty and chippy and I just thought it was so cool. Um, so I decided to use it out on my screened porch. two items I have to share with you I decided to use together. The first thing being a shelf that is too big for me to hold up. I found it for $10 and I absolutely love it. It's very farmhouse and you may remember it from Thrift Store Thursdays. Um, a lot of you commented that you really liked it so I, it was a good find. And then the final thing was this basket right here. It was $1.99 and I thought it was so cool. I love the shape of it and I thought it was very farmhouse like so. And it worked out perfectly because it fits on the shelf like a glove and now it's a cute little basket that I can throw things in. It's kind of like my catch-all basket, but I don't have to see the mess. All right, so both of these items I decided to use in my living room in a corner that's at the top of my stairs. Um, it, need, it used to have a table and we would throw our backpacks underneath it and stuff like that. Um, but I will remove the table put in the shelf and I'm really liking the switch up. Those were my fun finds and my favorites for the month of May. Thanks so very much for watching today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up 
and subscribe if you have not. And please let me know what you think about the new format of adding the favorites and the fun finds together. I'd really like to know what you think about that. So thanks again for watching and I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye now.